Hi and welcome to our live crafting session today. My name is Jenny McCormack and I am an independent stamping up demonstrator and I'm based in the market town of Brackley which is in Northamptonshire here in the UK. Thank you so much for joining us. If you have joined us live um, do say hi in the comment section. It's always lovely to know who's um, joining us um, and watching alongside. So do uh, pop on and say hi. I trust you are all well. I'm just going to put this... Well, I'm not sure that I need my overhead light on, actually. But we'll put it on and see. See how we get on. It's been a beautiful day here today. Beautiful blue sky still. Um, and lovely and warm, which is as I like it, but it's not as good <laughs> when you need to work. So, welcome to my live crafting. This week, my chosen stamp set of the week, I actually have two, is this one called Brood For You, that features, as you can see here, a beer tankard, a beer glass, a wine glass, or this could be a cocktail glass or a gin glass, and then some sentiments, another round for your birthday, I owe you one or several. We also have a flask here and then um, some little bubbles and some froth. So we've had great fun with that together with the other stamp set that we've been using, which is um, the Rays of Light. Just looking for my samples, which I had literally in my hand. Here they are. Sorry. So just to show you what we've created so far this week that you can watch on replay. Um, and some of these were done at Coffee and Card. So there is this one here where I have stamped the bear, um, beer block. Oh, the bear beer glasses <laughs> directly onto the card. And then I've added a sentiment in a circle which I punched out and that has got a beer glass obviously on the envelope and on the inside. Um, and then some other ones that I've been working on at Coffee and Card. So this is one with the wine glasses and I've just literally stamped them going across the card. And then I will add in um, a wine glass on a circle at some point. This it was the labour of love from yesterday and you'll be pleased to hear that I did manage to speed it up on YouTube. So if you watch the YouTube version rather than the Facebook version, this is sped up and I used our stamp and write markers, the new ones, uh, the Brights collection. And I coloured in the stamp and used our stamp positioning tool, Stamp Paratus, and um, inked it up, stamped one colour, inked up the next block, stamped it, and worked my way all the way around. Really pleased with the result, but it did take a long time. So if you're watching on YouTube, you'll see the sped up version, um, a definite improvement. And then we have this one here that I've stamped some foliage in the background um, and then I was playing with another of our background stamps the um, plaid, perfectly plaid and then these were more samples that I was working on at Coffee and Card so let me show you the finished ones there's this one here and I've stamped the glasses in the background just on a little panel of white I've stamped them. This is coloured in with our blends alcohol markers. And then this one was using the Starburst and uh, the Rays of Light. And I've just added a circle detail on there and then a sentiment across the bottom. So that's what we've been working on so far. And there's all sorts. I've done extra coffee and card this week, so I've got lots of bits that I need to tidy up and finish. So I thought today I would do a shaker card because the Brood For You has some dies that go with it. 
and this cuts out the three glasses so we have the beer glass um, the tankard version we have the straight one and we have another die also for the wine glass as well as other bits and pieces and I thought it'd be fun to make a shaker card so I'm using these iridescent shaker circles and these are new in our annual catalogue I'm going to open it very carefully if I can um, and hopefully you can see that it's got lots of tiny little circles not sure that you can see it actually you can see it iridescent and the good thing about these is they're very small they're circular and they have holes in the middle so they're less likely to get stuck sometimes in a shaker card if you have too many in there or the sequence is too big they can get stuck so these are an assortment of gold there's a little bit of pink a little bit of green a little bit of yellow a little bit of blue a bit of everything in there so I'm going to be using those so let's start by I'm going to stamp um, I'm going to have what am I going to have I'm going to have two of these glasses and one of these I'm going to stamp those to start with and I have to say this idea is entirely in my head uh, which is always quite dangerous because I haven't quite fathomed out how I'm going to do it but we'll give it a go and I'll be as quick as I can so I've got one of these like so and I'm going to have two of these Oops, lazy. and I've got a couple of colour choices so you can help me decide which ones we're going to use so that's those and um, um, just for speed I'm going to use the infills rather than using our pens so I'll just do that really quickly and I'll just use the same maybe I'll use crushed curry I can see it yes. so I hope you've all had a good day I know not a lot of people like the heat so if you're one of those people I'm really sorry I'm not quite sure how long this is all going to last either okay I have no idea how much ink is in this stamp oh enough okay so I'm just going to pop that on there like so and then the two straight glasses and these are going to be behind my shaker window I think I hope hi Diane thanks for joining us I hope you are well I hope Taro is well and Daniela okay so I've got two glasses and a tankard which I'm going to cut out in a minute with these I'm also going to stamp a sentiment while I'm here and I've got this sentiment which says I think it's time for a celebration um, which is perfect and I'm just going to stamp on here I might want to do it in an espresso yes it's a bit contaminated because my cleaners are all in my bag so I apologize it's a shade of mud because there was blue on there to start with Okay, so this um, sentiment, I think it's time for celebration, comes from Beautiful Balloons and that set is going to be my class in a box for this month 
and if you want to see them I've got the first three projects ready okay so that's going to be that um, so let me cut this out first because what I want to do if I can explain on my shaker card is I've got this panel here that I'm going to cut the same three glasses out of. Being very warm, I'm not surprised. Um, hi Kat, thanks for joining us. So the plan is I'm going to cut out, at a jaunty angle I think, one, two, three glasses. So that I have an aperture in this piece here. And then going to put some window sheet behind it and fill it with our little circles and then what I want to do is put the cutout pictures behind where that goes if that makes any sense so that's my that's my theory so my color choice I've chosen this piece here from our um, eclectic paper so I think it's really lovely it's got a fab mix of all sorts of different things it's got tulips on the back which looks rather nice so my choice of colors which you could help me with while I'm doing my die cutting I've got this one on crushed curry but I've also got smoky slate because um, yellow and grey together does look usually not always does look quite nice and I might trim this further down I just got it um, slightly smaller to start with so let me know what you think and we're going to have our um, die cut pieces behind so your choice is whether we use smoky slate or crushed curry and I'm just quickly going to run these through my intention was to have them ready didn't quite work the plan because I was struggling to find my dies which I did in the end okay so bear with me when I just cut these out So, I have got one tankard and one beer glass. Just going to cut the other one. Be as quick as I can. Could have done this with a small machine on the table to be honest but I always have my big one set up next to me in the window okay so those are my three so let me know what you think whether you think it should go on to crushed curry um, either way for the start I'm going to put this together and cut my windows into here and the reason why I put the card behind it is if you use this and cut out your windows um, it becomes quite unstable because it's quite relatively thin so what I'm going to do is attach this together die cut my components and then if I need to trim it down I will Diane says curry crushed curry so I'm going to put this through here and I'm going to put quite a few on because obviously we're going to have holes in the middle okay so for this layer I've just cut it what should be the same size as my paper layer give or take and I'm thinking if I just put this one here so you can see 
that let's have a jaunty angle or straight I think jaunty I've done enough straight lines this week haven't I <laughs> so I'm just going to pop those on there and cut them out and what I will do actually is leave a little bit of space for my I think it's time for a celebration to go on the bottom so I must remember to do that so give me one minute I can have all three jaunty I think Right, one, two, and then the other one's going to go there. Um, let's go. Oh, that wasn't very good, was it? That one, that way. the die cutting I think I'm required to do so just to show you what I have in mind is this is for example it's going to go on to here and then behind this I'm going to have my three glasses like so. So I'm going to use that to position them. Those are going to be fixed to the in to that there. And then I'm going to put window sheet across the front and little shaker pieces and then basically put it put it back down. So and then that whole front will be sealed. So what I'm going to do to start with is just position this. Now once I've got these in place, I can cut this down but I can't move it. Um, I need to obviously reposition it each time. So let me find a little bit of tape to hold that in place. on the wrong side of me. Now there's lots of different ways to do shaker cards so this is relatively a complex way to do it because normally you would just have an, um, a single aperture. So if you've never done a shaker card don't be thinking oh my goodness is it really that complicated because generally it isn't. Okay so what I'm going to do is stick these and often on a shaker card you would just have a sentiment on the inside on the back side I should say but I just wanted those okay so what I'm going to do is pop those through the holes and put some adhesive on the back I'm just lifting it up to make sure I'm not attaching it with any glue to that front piece. I'm looking forward to, I do love the heat, but I'm looking forward to it being a bit cooler so I can walk Cassie Dog later. Two. 
do and then finally this one here I need to make sure that I'm in I am in view as I did have to move my camera after I knocked it yesterday and I know it's not back in the right place and it's not at the right height so if you see edges of things I apologize okay there we go so that's going to be my backing so you can see how that's coming together hopefully now I'm going to put a piece of window sheet behind there so I can take, peel these off One, two and three and stick a sheet behind that and then I might just trim it slightly more so you can see a little bit of the background um, let's grab The window sheet so I'm using plain window sheet but we have some fabulous new patterned window sheets and I'm using these for our class this month so if I've got an off cut but no just want to measure that roughly the thing with the window sheet is not to handle it too much so this is about 13 centimeters by about seven you want to make sure obviously that you've covered the whole of that open area so I've just cut that seven I'm sorry this is off screen thirteen like so and I'm actually going to cut another one and I find this is a really tidy way to do a shaker card but only if you've got enough window sheet to play with if you're short of window sheet then just use one layer okay so what I'm going to do now is fix this to the back of our piece here and you can use any medium you like um, I prefer not to use wet glue because this is non-porous and it will just travel as far as it can possibly go um, so your best bet is either to use tape if you're happy with tape then you can just use some tape for example and it doesn't have to be pretty because nobody's going to see it or you can use a seal and go around it and um, you could potentially put a little bit in there as well so let's do that really quickly I will put a little piece in here so remember this is the back it's not going to be seen it doesn't need to be pretty but what you don't want is any excess glue especially wet glue seeping through and we only need to keep this flat it, this is not going to this layer as we're putting on um, doesn't need to be sealed if you know what I mean it just needs to be flat on there just keeping it fairly close and let's see I've got my take pick tool just lift these up just come in from the side is the best bet and try not to handle it too much there we go
So what I'm going to do is pop my window sheet on to seal the front. Now I've got to find the window sheet. Here it is. So, there we go. Like that. So hopefully you can see that bit of window sheet on there. That's why it's useful that it's reflecting. So this, when I put it back and trim it down, it's going to go onto here, but it's going to be raised up. And then we're going to have shaker pieces in here. Now you can either have um, the whole of this piece open, or you can do individual ones. Now for speed, I'm just going to do the whole thing. But if you have plenty of time, then what I would do is I would do these perhaps individually. Um, maybe I'll do that. What do you think? I'm, I'm just conscious of everybody's time in the heat, really. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, before I do anything else, is I'm going to trim this down again because I want to see a bit more of a border. I just left this quite, um, just half a centimetre smaller. So I know I haven't got a lot to play with, so I'm just going to be a little bit careful. I'm going to take half a centimetre off the top. Okay, so you want to make sure that you've got space for your foam pads to go. Okay, and then I'm going to take a little bit of this one and probably a little bit of the other. Let's see, that's half a centimetre. So it would have been a little bit more sensible if I cut that to size to begin with. Then I could have placed my glasses in the right position. But I think I'll get away with it. So that's cutting through the paper and the layer behind. Still got my window sheet on there. Okay, so if you were just doing this as a complete block, then all you would need to do is grab some of our um, foam strips. These come in a long packet, which are about nine inches long, I want to say. And you would literally put a line there, line here. If you wanted to do these individually or have just two for example, could do that, um, then you want to put these in separate sections. So let's be let's be bold and do a couple of these separate. Just looking for my scissors. I'm going to try and do it as quick as I can. So what I want to do is cut a piece that it's long enough and you want them fairly close to your aperture otherwise all of the little beads and whatever would sort of disappear so I'm going to pop one across here like so and you want to butt these up really close together so that you don't lose anything. Okay, keep that one to the side in case I need a little piece. Okay, and then just pushing up against that one. Get fairly close, but not too close. You don't want to sort of see it through the um, window, so don't go completely mad. Actually, I'll leave that on there, that's fine and then just put a little piece across here. Oops. Oops, a bit easy. That pinged, didn't it? Okay, now if you end up with a small gap, I've got the tiniest gap there, 
I recommend not pulling it up and, and repositioning, just taking another piece like this one here and just putting that behind it or inside it, whichever you prefer. Depends on where you've got space. So that fills the gap. If you start lifting it, it doesn't seal back in quite the same way. Okay, so shall I do three or shall I do two? Just let me know. I'm going to do obviously the other one of these anyway. And then what we're going to do, so this is my preferred method always, when I put the little pieces in, is to put another piece of window sheet on top. So the whole of that is contained, and then you can turn it over, position it, and whatever. And if you haven't got enough window sheet, that's fine. Um, you just need to be really careful. So what I would do in this instance is I'd put my little pinch of um, embellishments in here, here and here, and then carefully put this over the top. Got a little pink one on there already. And remember, the more you handle it, the more static it gets. So just let me know if you think we should do two or all three. So they'll have separate little containers, if that makes any sense. Okay, I'm just going to cut this one down a little bit. Now, a lot of people don't like shaker cards. I think if you've had a bad experience with a shaker card, in particular, you know, well, like they've all fallen out or something, or they're stuck in the middle or something, Diane says three, then, um, you know, I can understand people not wanting to do any more. So I'll try and be as quick as I can. Do all three. And then this tiny piece here, I'm going to put at the top because I have got a little gap here. Just put that on there. So I do recommend using our foam strips for this. You can use the edges of dimensionals, of course you can. or any other, you know, any other phone strips you've got. Yeah, I'm not happy with the way that's sitting. I'm going to cut another piece. Okay, so one, two, and then I've got enough space, hopefully, for the third one. Now, you can utilise this piece on both, so you don't have to separate that one if you don't want to, because it'll end up with different pieces in there, won't it? Um, so I'm just going to make the most of that and just have these work my way around here. Sorry if that's off screen a little bit. So this I've got self adhesive on. I'm going to peel off the backing when I've done all of it. Find if you peel it off, otherwise, as soon as you move something, you touch it and it all attaches to itself or to you. OK, 
Okay, so I promise I'll speed up. I have no idea what the time is. Could look at my watch, couldn't I? Oops. Okay, yes, later than I intended, I'm sorry. Right, just going to tuck that one in there. Okay, Whew. right, I think I'm happy with that. If I've got any spare pieces, you can use them just to make sure you haven't got any gaps anywhere. I think those look okay. That looks okay. All right, so the last bit is to put some across the bottom because we need to support the whole panel even though only these bits are going to have the shaker elements in them and I like to cut my pieces up not use a great big long length because I can find you if you're not careful you stretch it and then your card doesn't sit flat okay so for these corners I only need to do some little bits at the top make sure I haven't lost my other window sheet in the meantime so I'm just going to put a supportive bit there and I think this will be just about enough So I say it doesn't have to look pretty and you're not going to see the other side because it's all going to be sealed up. Okay, now I know that this piece is going to sit on here like that. So I'm just going to put a supportive piece in there and there. Right, there we go. Okay, so when we've filled that up, we're going to reposition this over our little glasses. And the secret is not to have too much in there, because if you put too much in there, you can't see what's behind it. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, I like to take the backings off first, but some people prefer to leave the backings on. I find you're more likely to ping and lose some of the contents when you do this bit. So I prefer to do this now. But you just have to be careful not to tip your components onto the strips. So I guess it depends on how how good a how good you are with handling little pieces. How good your dexterity is. That was the word I was looking for. Okay, I'm nearly there, I promise. Now it's important that these ones are sealed. It's not as important for the other ones. Right, so I'm just making sure they are all glossy. Then I know the backings are off. Okay, and two. Sorry, this is quite painful to watch, isn't it? I'm so sorry. I'm going to have to speed this one up as well, I think. Okay, right, so I have that ready. All of the backings are off. I have my piece to go on here. So I'm going to grab my um, little 
shaker circles now there are some other ones but I'm just going to use these because they're pretty and they're gold so you can um, just have a pinch you can use a spoon um, it's really up to you and you want to make sure that they're going roughly in the middle like so and not around the edges obviously with this bigger one I've got a bit more space to play with and a shaker card is one of our class in a box components this time okay so you get to make two shaker cards and these are with balloons No better, so that's not my dog outside. I think she's probably just in the back garden. Okay, so this is trial and error. Okay, I don't want to put too many on because I, I want to be able to see my little glasses behind. Right. Here's my piece. Now this um, tends to get a little bit static and the pieces will jump up. You can use an embossing buddy on here just to remove some of the static, but I'm just going to come at it like so. Right, you can see them move. Like that. Okay, and seal these down as you go. Like so. Crunch. and I've got a tiny corner there where I I've misaligned this what I should have done was have this further down so I will just snip off a corner here and put it on this corner like so and this whole thing is going to be folded over anyway okay so there's our shaker elements and they are enclosed so if I turn this over there they are okay so what I need to do now is just put this in line carefully all the other bits are off and I am going to put a little bit of glue along here with my tape only because I put my sheet down a little bit high so this tape this um, at the top is is covered up so I just want to make sure it's well attached like so and if you have gone over the end you can also trim that with some scissors if you need to. Yeah, I think shaker cards are always oops, always quite impressive, I have to say. But they are fiddly to do. Especially when you're doing what I'm doing and decide to do three different shapes. If I'd just done one solid piece, it would have been a lot easier. Okay, so let's take these pieces off and stick the whole thing down pop the sentiment on and we're done okay i think that will do the job so i'm just going to bring this down so it's closer to me So, what I didn't think about is I've cut this down, but I didn't bear in mind where it was going to fit on my card. So I cut it off the top, but of course my um, glasses are further down. So I'm going to have to cut this bit here. Oh, Jenny. So what I'm going to do is peel these off like 
Yeah. That wasn't very clever. That wasn't very foresightful, was it? I just took it from the top, if you remember. And what I should have done was taken it off evenly all the way around. So, not to worry. So I need about half a centimetre cut off here. And that's going to be interesting. So what I'm going to do is find a piece of could use window sheet but I want some cellophane because I want these are going to stick onto my um, trimmer otherwise so I'm going to cover this up like so and then hopefully use my trimmer and then I can just peel that off where there's a way okay so this is half a centimeter okay so before i move it it's got a bit of reach to go because it's got to get over the foam pads there we go Oops. so i like to keep it on the trimmer until i've cut it all off See if I've got enough of that out of the way. <laughs> yep, yeah, I reckon. So now I can peel this off carefully and it'll still be sticky. Mm. Or not. So this is how not to do it. Okay, so it's taken the layer off sticky off there but that's fine because I can just apply a little bit of glue what I didn't want is it sticking completely to my trimmer so a little bit of glue on these pieces two three The rest of that is all still sticky, hopefully. Right, take two. Note to self, cut to size first, tell me. Okay, so just taking time to position this over my glasses. And if they're the tiniest bit out, it's not the end of the world. <laughs> oh, hi, Susan. Yes, how not to do it. Yay, we got there. So I've got three individual pieces for each of my bubbles or whatever they might be in there. Okay, I'm just going to add my sentiment, which says I think it's time for a celebration. And then I think it's time for a cold drink of my dinner. <laughs> Cassie agrees. Okay, so I'm just going to trim this straight off. So this sentiment comes from Beautiful Balloons. Just thought it was a good sentiment to use. This would be perfect for somebody's exam results or graduation or um, passing driving tests well maybe not driving tests but they could be non-alcoholic couldn't they all right let's pop this one on here and we're done Whew. so sorry another long session so how not to um, measure it but it worked out in the end I'm happy with that and then of course we have got the three die cut pieces that we cut out rather fun 
so you could put those on the inside or you could put one on the inside one on the envelope or all three on the inside I think I'm going to put all three actually where am I Hmm. One, two, three. I don't know. Maybe I'm going to leave them and put them on the envelope or use them on another card. So there we are. There's our um, three little segments of shaker card. So there we are. Do you want to have a quick, a quick sneak peek, sneak peek at three of our um, projects for our class in a box for June? Oh my goodness! I can't believe it's halfway through June already. Um, if you want to, just let me know. I'll hold on a sec while I tidy up. Make sure I don't lose those two dies. Um, but yeah, that worked really well. So I might have a think about what um, using other colours for that. I think um, just gold actually would be really nice. Um, but I think it still works. And it serves its purpose. Okay, so let's put the smoky space away. That was our other option. Do that while I remember while the room cools down okay right I'm just going to show you um, these three to get started there are more <laughs> no you're supposed to say yay <laughs> so our class in the box features the balloons it's called Beautiful Balloons and I've got my first three samples and I'm matching it with the papers that go with the set which are really nice bright vibrant papers and hi Brenda and there's um, plenty of die cuts that will be included but the stamp set does also stamp the balloons um, so this is one think it's time for celebration and you get all the die cuts and the bling and everything with it um, and then I've got this one which is a square card and it opens like this and it's got a little birthday message on the inside like so and this is much easier than it looks I promise and you just fold it back up one, two, three, four, and tuck the last one in. Doesn't matter which one you tuck in. Just tuck the last one in, like so. And you can stick these down, or you can have them left open. It's entirely up to you. And I did think if you wanted to, you could put a little thing that says pull on here. Because I know people don't like um, cards that, you know, you have to work out how to do them and then here's a shaker card um, so again you get all the components and this has got the balloons on this is the gold printed sheet I'm not sure that you can see it on there really um, and then some of the balloons cut out on the papers and a happy birthday so those are the first three um, and I've got another two to design that's what I'm finishing off this evening and then I'll send out details for the class in a box for June um, and that's it so thank you everybody this was the card that we made hi Brenda sorry I'll have to scoot back through and I do recommend you uh, when I start doing the <laughs> sticking of the shaker bits on you speed it up and I will try and do that it took ages to do it though yesterday so maybe people will know just to speed it up if they need it right so thank you so much everybody do take care um i may pop back tomorrow because i want to show you the rest of the class in a box projects so if that is the case i'll give you a little bit of warning um and if not then i'll pop a video in the on the facebook page so that you can see the projects and booking for that will open um tomorrow thank you so much everyone um, have a great 
afternoon and evening or morning depending on where you're watching and when you're watching so thank you so much everybody i'm at coffee and card tomorrow so that's uh next after dinner is to plan my coffee and card design for tomorrow um, so i'm looking forward to that that's in brackley and then next week again i'm in toaster monday brackley tuesday and buckingham no vista on wednesday <coughs> thursday even so thank you so much everyone do take care um say stay cool stay safe and look after yourselves and your loved ones thank you so much for joining me and thanks for your support bye for now